Um, let's see what's happening over on Newsmax, where they are going to be interviewing Eric Trump later today. Oh, that's going to be a pleasure. I can absolutely assure you that is going to be a complete and total pleasure. So a lot of questions about what happens now. And the answer is we really don't know. Um, there's always the desire to kind of see through to the end of these stories quickly. But as you can see, we learned about the raid last night. We learned today about the search for a criminal defense attorney from Donald Trump. And quite literally, months may go by and nothing else may happen. We just don't know. The big speculation is, is Trump now going to declare that he is running for president because he believes that it will somehow shield him from legal liability? Merrick Garland has already said it will not. And so there's kind of a question as to whether it really would make sense for him to do that. House Republicans will be meeting with Trump after the raid on his home. That's a meeting I would love to be a fly on the wall for. Republicans have a moral duty to fight back. And chairman of the American Conservative Unit and author of The Desecrators, Matt Schlapp, joins me. Nice to see you, Matt. Oh, no. Great to be with you, Greta. OK, Matt, um, I take you're not at Mar-a-Lago, are you? What's behind you? No, no, no. Uh, we escaped uh, to get a little R&R, &R, but I guess it's not to be, Greta. All right. Tell me what you think about what's going on. What's the reaction with, the, with CPAC? I mean, what are people saying? Is he in some s-hole country and he doesn't want the audience to know? In a weird way. Well, we had a great CPAC. You know, he came and gave, I think, his best CPAC speech ever. You've been there several times, Greta. And he, he uh, he's really you know, getting it. I ready. I should add covering it. <laughs> covering it. Yes, that's right. Covering it and interviewing people and all the <laughs> rest. It's, it's the center of news uh, for this part of politics. And he um, gave a great speech and everybody thought he was such a high and it went so well. And the themes coming out of it of defending America were so clear. And boy, within 24 hours, this thing happened that I just never could imagine <laughs> could happen in America. You know, I remember being a congressional staffer. Bill Clinton had a special counsel on his tail and they just deposed him. And when they wanted something from him, they just subpoenaed those documents. Uh, you know, Hillary Clinton took $200,000 worth of furniture and art from the White House. Is it possible to discuss what happened yesterday without talking about Hillary for these people? Like, is it is it at all possible that they can do that? These things didn't result in raids and opening up safes. And so, you know, there's supposed to be a little humility when you're dealing with the office of the presidency and the FBI. But when it comes to Donald Trump, anything goes and our folks are, are just depressed over the fact that we have two systems of justice. Yeah. You know, though, Matt, it's it sort of been look. Um, the two systems of justice we have are for wealthy people and then everybody else. They want you to think there's one system of justice for Democrats and another for Republicans. We do have two justice systems, but it's based on uh, wealth misdemeanor. I'd never seen anything like it. And this is the court system I practiced in. And, you know, and I, and I know that, you know, that, you know, it doesn't doesn't sort of change the narrative when you see a raid like this as well on the president. And of course, President Trump is not inclined to run and hide. No, and look, his lawyer, his office was ransacked uh, by the FBI. Now, President Trump's it's a presidential office. Everybody has to understand this. This is an official office. It's paid for with taxpayer funds. Um, there are there are federal staff in that office and it's raided by the FBI. Is it true that that the federal government and taxpayers pay for Trump's Mar-a-Lago office? If that's true. That's interesting over the line like Sandy Berger, who was Bill Clinton's national security advisor. He stuffed documents in his pants <laughs> and he never went to jail. So why is well, Trump you know, the, held the, to higher standard? Well, By the way, we've talked about the Sandy Berger situation before. Shoot, if there is a risk of destruction of property, if someone's going to destroy the evidence. And, you know, I guess in the last 24 hours, I don't know if you saw the um, the New York Times Maggie Haberman report where there were shredded documents, pictures in a toilet in the yeah. White House and someplace else. I don't know where else. I don't I know if they're using that to bootstrap it. I don't know what it is that they think they're going to seize. I don't know there what it is. it is, but it certainly is. There's the picture right there. <laughs> um, that was all over the news. I don't know if that's what they think that they're going to throw all the documents 
measurements down Mar-a-Lago's sanitation system? I don't know. Um, but, um, you know, we still need to know what they're looking for and have some sort of reservation as to, like, whether... The degree to which toilets are playing a role in Trump's post-presidency drama is really interesting. Clinton got rid of thousands and thousands of documents, and she never served a day in jail. She was never sentenced. So the question is, what's this really all about? And I think what it's all about is trying to make it impossible for Donald Trump to ever run for the presidency again. Yeah. And if that's the... I don't, I, I, I don't see... I see... I want to. I want to. I meant to ask uh, Alan Dershowitz about that because I think the the, you know, the Constitution is pretty plain what the qualifications are to run for president. I don't. I don't think you can create a statute or a law or anything else to say someone can't, no matter what but the person's done. What do you do with an AG? What if a politicized AG says no, you're not able to run? Then it's got to go to the court. We are creating. All right. So a lot of very wild legal speculation taking place.